New York having used songwriting to navigate her own trauma, Mary Gauthier is putting those skills to work helping others do the same. The Nashville-based musician has collaborated with war veterans to write about what they've been through, even producing a disc of the music, and more recently sat with healthcare workers who were on the front line of the COVID-19 pandemic. Gauthier still writes for herself, and her most recent album Dark Enough to See the Stars reflects the love found with partner and fellow musician Jamie Harris and the sadness of losing friends like John Prine and Nancy Griffith. Music is a second career for Gauthier, pronounced Gaucher, who was 60. She was a talented chef in Boston three decades ago. She was also a drunk. My sense was that you were born to do this, people were chosen, or something and I didn't feel chosen, she said. Sober, I was able to do a daughter 2005 song, I Drink, was a seminal moment. In it, she imagines what her life would have been like if she hadn't quit booze. The chorus is blunt, fish swim, birds fly. Daddies yell, mamas cry. It's a sad song. The narrator in the song is saying, I know what I am, but I don't give a damn, she said. Some of her listeners, particularly those in recovery, know that this is a red flag. Because people who scream, I don't give a damn, generally are screaming it because they do. Similarly, her song March 11, 1962, her birthday, this emotionally devastating. Gauthier, who was given up for adoption as an infant, sings about her very real experience of tracking down her birth mother, calling her, and being rejected. Mary was a secret in her life, and she wanted it to remain so. The important thing for Gauthier was being brave enough to make the call. It was an articulation of how hard it is as an adoptee to go back in there and request information and try to get your story, she said. For me, the story is just a reminder of how far I've come, she said, because it's not terrifying anymore. I climbed Fear Mountain and I lived. It didn't kill me, and it actually helped me heal. She'll sit with her guitar amid a group and ask them to tell their experiences. Reluctantly at first, the stories come out. Gauthier keys on a Fraser experience, and together they write a song. People are often reluctant to talk about trauma because they associate it with failure," Gauthier said. Every time she works with the group, she can sense the relief in people who recognize that what they're feeling is not unique.
It's enormously gratifying to find some way of being of service, she said. Who wouldn't want to do that?